If you work in technology, you'll know of Jeffrey Moore as the author of Crossing the Chasm. But did you know he has a PhD in English literature? Our first question for our guest is, does he believe storytelling could help customers to cross the chasm? I am a huge believer in narrative. And, and if you think about it, particularly before the chasm, it's 90% narrative. What uh, type of story should a salesman tell once the customer has crossed the chasm? Tell a narrative which says, well, why me? You know, and, and, and why us? And it can't be a narrative which says, they're bad and I'm good. Because that narrative is just too self-serving and not credible. It has to be a narrative which says, typically, they're good at this and we're good at that. And we think, and in, in, in looking at your situation, at least through our lens, you're in a situation where we're a better choice than they are. In a tornado, um, you mentioned that the market leader wins with a transactional sales approach. Is there an opportunity for a salesperson to share a story in a tornado? If you're not the gorilla, if you're not like the number one choice, you still have to do this kind of more narrative-based selling because you're not going, well, why would I pick you? Shouldn't I pick the market leader? And, and so I would say that, you know, what you're, what you're talking about inside you know, selling is makes total sense. How does the structure of a story need to change in a sales cycle as the customer crosses the chasm? The story of the use case, the earlier you are in the life cycle, the more time you want to spend on the problem, the less time you want to spend on the solution because you want to get alignment around the problem and buy it. And then as the problem becomes more and more accepted and kind of part of the understanding of the, of the customer, then you transfer more of that story to the solution. How can you use stories to inspire customers to change? Trying to build a new understanding, I think it starts fundamentally with story. My best example of this is I, I'm a venture partner at More David Ventures, and so every entrepreneur who pitches us is actually pitching us on a story. Yeah, and, and that's what your book's about, my book's about, and I think any good book in business is about, is telling stories that let people reimagine how they might, you know, oh my God, I'm in a chasm, no wonder I wasn't being successful. Nice speaking to you, Jeffrey, I really appreciate it.